Hey guys, just a quick one. Uh, still recovering from Comic Con yesterday. It's now Saturday. I went to Comic Con yesterday, which was uh, Friday. Um, got there on a priority ticket, so it was like nine till you could be there till no, sorry, ten till seven. Um, and wow, what a day! It was actually the Comic Con was actually really, really good. Um, I had a great time. I went with a friend called Scott. Uh, we basically went there for well, mainly Funko Pop hunting but also to see what else was I've never been to Comic Con before, been to Eurogamer and stuff like that um, but never Comic Con and uh, yeah had a had an awesome time uh, so I just wanted to quickly make a video, share with you what I got, what Funko Pops I got and so I can add them to the collection now uh, so yeah here's the Pops um, so we'll start, the first one I'll start with um, is the, I'll start with the two uh, Comic Con exclusive Pops uh, the first one being, well that I got uh, was the uh, Joker, not the best, uh, there you go, the Joker Arkham Asylum like purple uh, Funko Pop with the nice uh, 2019 Comic Con sticker. Uh, also picked up uh, the Stranger Things Dustin, the Camp Nowhere uh, London Comic Con exclusive. Nice pop. Um, we went to, I can't remember the name of the store now, but I'll put a uh, something on the screen here so I know which one it was. Um, but I was looking for the office pops. Um, I've got like all the commons, like the base base pops, but no like special ones yet. Um, I saw Prison Mike on a stall when I was there, but they were, he was selling them for like £30. It was the Hot Topic exclusive. So I'm, I'm holding off on that for now. Um, but one stall, that's Teddy. One stall had three of the office Christmas pops, so the first of those three is Dwight Schrute as a Belschnickel. Oh, judgment is nigh, but a Belschnickel is I. Yes, he is finally nigh. I am nigh. Uh, a very good episode. And as you can see, the Christmas ones there, a bit of a spoiler, because I'm going to show you them now anyway. We've got the uh, Michael Scott as Classy Santa. The name's Bond, Santa Bond. All of an eggnog shaken, not stirred. Another great pop. I was really chuffed about getting these. As soon as uh, the lady said, oh yeah, I've got three of the Christmas ones, I was like, yeah, here's, they're only 30 pounds. I was like, yeah, here's 30 quid. This one has actually got a bit of damage where I, uh, my backpack got stuck in the tube door. Um, and then we got Dwight Schrute as the elf. It is time to get your presents, wrap them, and place them under the tree, like so. If you do not get your present wrapped and under the tree within the next five minutes, you will be disqualified from Secret Santa. All right? No exceptions, except Michael. Trying to get the light out of the picture. Uh, and you can see in his hands he's got the... Uh, Nutcracker that Michael gets in, which he thinks is a gun at first. Uh, I also picked up off the EMP booth uh, a Chase Starlord, which I was actually really pleased with. Uh, he's obviously got the mask on in this one, whereas opposed to uh, the back where he's got um, no no uh, sh no face mask on. So yeah, chuffed with that. Picked that up for thirteen pounds. And also got, I uh, can't remember the the shop's name, but I've, I'll put something on here. Um, King Homer from the, uh, was it the Treehouse? Yeah, Treehouse of Horror Simpsons special ones. <laughs> Where he's holding like a Ma uh, Marge Simpson. Really chuffed with that one. Some people were selling it for like 15, 20 quid, but we, we found it a lot cheaper. And, uh... Last but not least, my foreign, probably my favourite pickup of the day, which I did get from the Funko booth, as well as the two uh, MCM Comic Con exclusives, is the uh, Rick and Morty Exoskeleton Snowball. And he's a big one. The uh, reason I got him is he looks exactly like my dog. Come on then. Um, and that's about it really. I've seen the I, I do watch Rick and Morty and I watched this episode and loved it because it looked like my dog Teddy. Um, so yeah, I've been wanting to get this one for a little while, so I finally got it. Uh, yeah, that is my uh, haul of 
Funko Pops from Comic Con. I had a great day. I highly recommend if you haven't been before to go. It's it's a great great time. Make sure you take some or well, plenty of money with you because there's a lot of stuff to buy. Um, and be in for a day of walking and standing. It's but it, it is awesome. You know, you're surrounded by people who enjoy the same thing as you. And uh, yeah, we had a great time. So I'll be going from now on every year. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you like the pops I got. And uh, there'll be more videos to come. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.